G'day, I'm zoologist Chris Humphrey and welcome to the City of Maribyrnong's Biodiversity Workshops. People often ask me, what is biodiversity and why do we need to protect it? Well, that's a great question. In healthy ecosystems, every organism has a job to do, an ecological niche, just like the jobs people do in our communities. Every animal and plant is vital for a healthy, productive environment. We need to protect all species, just not our favourites. The city of Maribyrnong is home to a myriad of amazing wildlife and plants. However, many of them are facing tough times. Development and urbanisation has rapidly eaten away natural habitat for many animal species. Pollution, introduced predators and pests have also played a role in driving many types of wildlife to a threatened status and even local extinction. Planet Earth is in the midst of a climate and biodiversity emergency. Australia has the worst mammal extinction rate of any country in the world. We all need to act now by protecting our local environments before it's too late. If we can't save nature and if we can't save the animals, we can't save ourselves. That's humankind finished. It's absolutely amazing the abundance of native animal species which still lives in the city of Maribyrnong. It's so important to protect all native species because remember, they were here first. Let's meet some of our local wildlife denizens and discover how they help people out. That's right, they actually make our lives better. Meet one of my favourite reptiles, the blotched blue tongue lizard. These prehistoric looking creatures are harmless to people and love eating snails and slugs in our gardens. But they also eat fungi and wildflowers. And when they eat wildflowers, they poop out the seed and they spread native flowers across our landscape. What a great job. Blotch blue tongue lizards can often be seen sunbaking on bike tracks, footpaths and even roads. So slow down and keep your eyes peeled for some sunbaking lizards. So just invite a blue tongue lizard to move on into your back garden and you won't have any pest animals eating up all your veggies in your veggie patch. Say hi to the short beaked echidna. It's incredible that this remarkable egg-laying mammal still lives in the city of Maribyrnong, so close to the metropolis of Melbourne. These monotremes are living relics and the closest living relative to the platypus. Echidnas have thousands of receptors on the tip of their snout for picking up the electrical impulses of the prey that they're hunting. Echidnas need natural habitat corridors to forage for their food. Echidnas are sometimes seen along the Maribyrnong River. Keep your dog on the lead at all times when walking because dogs can easily kill our unique and precious animals. Who would have thought that this solitary macropod, the swamp wallaby, still lives along the environmental corridor of the Maribyrnong River? The sure tell sign that you have swamp wallabies living in your neck of the woods is look out for their droppings. Reclusive in nature, be sure to look out for them feeding on grass and foliage in the early morning and late afternoon. Love them or loathe them, snakes are important for our environment. They help us out by eating up all of the mice and the rats. Although most snakes in Maribyrnong are dangerously venomous, if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. Keep a careful eye out for snakes, especially in the summer months. It's also another good reason to walk your dog on a lead. Dogs, if bitten by a snake, can die. Meet the grey-headed flying fox. I think they look like a flying chihuahua. Aren't they wonderful? This is Australia's largest bat. It's called a mega bat. Grey-headed flying fox are much maligned animals in people's backyards. You know why? They gobble up our ripening fruit. A threatened species nationally, only 10% of their former population remains. Loss of habitat and persecution from humans is the main cause of their demise. These beautiful megabats are refugees trying to eke out a living. They're such important pollinators of native plants and tree species. Fruit bats don't need fancy shampoos to get rid of head lice and ectoparasites. They simply hang upside down and urinate on themselves. The uric acid in their wee burns off these pesky pests. Hey, don't try that yourselves. So why not go outside tonight, look up into the Maribyrnong night sky and see if you can see a grey-headed flying fox. Don't we live in a great place? It's absolutely critical that we protect biodiversity together. The health of our planet depends on all of us. 
We all need to change our habits, behaviour and impacts on our natural world. Think locally and join me in making a positive difference in the city of Maribyrnong. Let's act by planting native habitat in our own backyards, schoolyard or workplace. Planting trees is also a great way to help cool our planet and help reduce harmful greenhouse gases. A little hollow like this, a little nesting box, gives a possum a place to seek shelter in and to raise a family. Be responsible pet owners. Walk your dogs on a leash. Don't let them chase and kill our wildlife. Keep your cat enclosed. It's safer for your cat and they won't eat our wildlife. Avoid, reduce, reuse, recycle. It's absolutely critical that we all work together in the protection of biodiversity because the health of our planet depends on all of us. Love where you live in the city of Maribyrnong.